Hello guys, good evening. Welcome once again to another class. So today, let me check here. Uh, as usual, I'm, uh, can you hear me clearly? That's the first question that I always ask you. Can you hear me clearly? Or is there any interference or something like that? Clear. Sorry, what? It's clear? Yes. Oh, clear. Okay. Yes, it is. So thank you so much, guys, for being here once again. Uh, it's really nice to see you. I understand. I understand, Jocelyn. That's, that's fine. That's understandable. I understand. So don't worry about it. Um, so, as usual, I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the last topic that we saw. Uh, what do you guys remember about yesterday's class? What was yesterday's class about? Jobs in occupation. Jobs in occupation. So let me see. Let me, let's see. Um, how do we say uh, costurera? How do we say that? Sailor. Sailor, okay. How do we say, what are the two forms of saying bombero? The two forms, what are they? Fireman and firefighter. Fireman and firefighter. Okay, thank you very much. Um, how do we say abogado? Lawyer. Say that again. Lawyer. 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 How do we say um, jardinero? Gardener. 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 Okay, that's good. How do we say, um, let me see what else. What are the two, the two ways I can say albañil? Mason. Mason and? What's the other? Brick lawyer. Brick lawyer, excellent. Brick lawyer. Those are the two, perfect. So guys, today we are going to see, or today's class is about WH questions. When I say that, what comes to your mind? Da, do you have any idea when I say WH questions? No? What's that? Why? What? Why? Okay. What? Where? What? Okay. Where? 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 When? Who? When? Who? How? Who? Excellent. Those are the WH questions that we have. So today we are going to learn, guys, how to use WH questions. Today's class is going to be about that. So let's start. First of all, here we have the main WH questions, but let me ask you, is there anyone missing falta alguna or they are complete? or those are the only ones that we have in English? Sin revisar en internet, and do not go to Google, do not go to any other place on the internet. If you know, you know, if you don't, you don't. Oh. How is, is that the one that misses? 
Not really, because we have how here. Did you say something, Saul? Oh, okay. Okay. Did you say something, Jose Lopez? How many? Many. How many? Is that what you say? I didn't listen to you clear, so I don't know what you said. Yes, I say how many. How many? Okay. All right. Well, what about the other ones? Do you think that those are the only ones that we have in the English language or do we have any other one? No? If you think if you think that those are the only ones that we have in English, write yes on the chat. If you think that that there's, if you agree, write yes. I will check who is agreeing or to what to to these ones that we have here. If you think that those are the only ones, type yes. But if you have the answer, type the answer. Are you are you guys understanding? Am I? I mean, I I know that I'm speaking another language, right? But it's like you're not understanding. Repeat, please. Okay, Jose Alberto, yes. Jose Lopez, yes. Who said repeat? I heard someone said repeat or something like that. Okay, it's only Jose Alberto and Jose Lopez today in the class. The other ones are not here. So, let me tell you that the one that is missing there is this one. Whose? What does whose mean? What does it mean? Do you have any idea? No. Not really. That means the quien. Who's. So today we are going to go one by one and we are going to try to understand how to use all WH questions in English. Okay, so let's start. We have the first thing that you have to remember is that WH question cannot never ever be answered with a yes or no. ¿Por qué nunca las puedo responder con un sí y con un no? Any idea? Supongo que no me estarían preguntando algo en específico. Excellent, because someone is asking you something specifically. Let's let's suppose that someone asks you, where are you from? Usted no le va a decir sí. No, you're not gonna say yes. It's like if someone asks you, where are you from? You're going to say, I am from El Salvador. Okay, that's it. So remember, WH questions never ever can be answered with yes or no. Never. Okay, so that's the first thing. The first one, we are going to see who. Who we are going to use it when we want to know the name or names or we want to name a person. 
Example, who is he? What does who mean? Quien. Quien es él? Who is he? He's my teacher. Okay? So every single time that you ask a question with who, you're trying to know up information about that person who you're speaking to. Here we have, and the next part, we have some common questions. These are some common questions that we use with the WH question who. For example, who are you? What do you understand by that? What's ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? Who are you? Yeah. Who is he? Who is she? ¿Quién es él? Es él? Es él? Es él? Es él? Mm -hmm. Who is your best friend? ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo? ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo? Who is calling? ¿Quién llama? ¿Quién llama? Excellent. Who wants some ice cream? Pues, ¿Quién quiere algún helado? ¿Quién quiere? Ya, yeah, exactly. ¿Helado? Mm -hmm. Who asked the question? What's that? ¿Quién hizo una pregunta? ¿Quién hizo una pregunta? Who is faster? ¿Quién es rápido? ¿Quién es más rápido? Who is the most beautiful? ¿Quién es más, ¿Quién es más guapo? ¿Quién es el más hermoso, más bonito, más guapo, guapa, etc.? Okay, so those are once uh, some examples of the WH question who. So as you can see there, every single time that when we ask a question who is because we are referring to trying to know information about the person, okay? That's simple as that. Let me see. Uh, ¿Qué significa wants? What's wants es el verbo querer. Wants. What is that? Now, wants es querer. ¿Quién quiere? Who wants? Okay, that's it. So let's move on to another one. And here we have what. Es la que todos sabemos, right? What, 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 what. That's the most common one or the one that most of the time we use in any conversation that we have in English. So when we use the WH question, what is because we want to name an object, an idea, or an action that's happening at the moment. So when we use the question what is because we want to know something about it. It's like, what is that? What is that? Intonation of the question will be always required. Intonation, entonación de una pregunta. Si usted no hace entonación de una pregunta, La persona no va a saber que usted le está haciendo una pregunta. And that happens in Spanish. También nos pasa en español. ¿Por qué? Hay veces alguien le está haciendo una pregunta y usted le dice, ¿qué? ¿Me estás preguntando o me estás afirmando? Yes? So we got to be clear with that. So intonation. What is that? It's a pencil. Okay? It's a pencil. Okay. So now. Let's see which are some of the common questions. If I ask you, what is it? What am I saying? What do you understand by that? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? What is it? ¿Qué es? What is it? In number two, uh, there's a mistake there. There's a mistake there. Uh, me faltó agregar el verbo to be. So it's, what is this? What is that? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es aquello? Okay? So I'm missing the verb be here. I'm sorry for that. So if I say, what day is it? 
What day is it? What do you understand? Yes. Yes. What day is it? If I say, what is the weather like? What do you understand by that question? Sin estar yéndose al Google Translator, ¿verdad? If you know it, si lo sabes, oh, si no, aquí lo vamos a aprender. Weather sería como clima. Weather, exactly. The ¿Qué weather, clima te gusta? Right? ¿Cuál es clima favorito? ¿O qué clima prefieres? Mm, no, really. If I say, what is the weather like? Es, ¿Cómo está el clima? What is the weather like? ¿Cómo está el clima? Even though, aunque... Nosotros sabemos que el verbo like significa gustar. Más allá, por intermedio avanzado, vamos a entender cosas que ahorita no entendemos. But let me tell you, uh, desde ahorita, en este caso acá, el verbo like no se está usando como verbo, sino que se utiliza como preposición, que significa como. But you will see that. Eh, lo, lo van a ver eso un poquito allá más adelante, ¿ok? It's okay, it's okay, Sofía, I understand. You're sick. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Sorry about that. Nowadays, everyone is getting cough, flu, fevers. Probably it's because of the weather. It's been raining for the whole week. I think that we have... Um, we have some sort of alert, I guess. So, remember when, when you listen to the question, what is the weather like? It means, ¿Cómo está el clima? What is the weather like? Okay. If I ask you the question, what do you want to eat? I want to eat chicken. ¿Qué te gusta? No, not really. <laughs> ¿Qué quieres comer? ¿Qué quieres comer? What do you want to eat? Ok. So remember, these questions las podemos utilizar every day. It's like, if you're going with your family to eat, if you're going to a restaurant, if you're going to Wendy's, any other of those brands, you go with your family and you ask them, what do you want to eat? ¿Qué quieren comer? Ok. So... These questions, we can use them every single day. Now, if I ask you, what are you doing? What's that? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Estás haciendo o qué haces? The same thing. What time is it? Esta es la más fácil. ¿Qué hora es? ¿Qué hora es? What do you do? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿De qué te mm. ¿O de qué soy? ¿Te dedicas o qué haces? Ayer la vimos. What do you do when we ask that question? It's because we want to know the profession or the occupation. Okay. So if I ask you, what does your father do? What's that? ¿Qué hacen? ¿Qué hacen? ¿Qué de hacer o de ocupación o oficio? ¿Qué es? De ocupación. Ocupación o oficio. No que hace de hacer en el momento. Ok. Very good. Now let's move on to another WH question. That is when. When we use when, it's because we name the time. When I say time, no me refiero a horas eh, específicamente, sino tiempo. Todo lo que lleva la palabra tiempo. We have an example right here. When does class start? ¿A qué horas empieza la, empieza la clase? ¿verdad? When does class start? It starts at three o'clock. No, es como cuando inicia la clase. Cuando inicia la clase, yes. Now, let's move on to the most common questions that we have with when. When is your birthday? What's that? 
Cuando es tu cumpleaños. Exactly. When is the field trip? When is the field trip? What is field trip? Field, cuando es el viaje de campo. The campo is field. And trip? Trip, viaje. viaje. When is the field trip? Cuando es el viaje de campo? If I ask you, when does the movie start? Cuando inicia la película? Excellent. When does the train arrive? When does the train arrive? Exactly. When does the train arrive? When do you do your homework? When do you do your When do you do your Harás. Cuando no harás tu tarea. Cuando haces, porque hablamos del presente, no del futuro. Harás es futuro. So, when are you free? Cuando estás libre. Cuando estás libre. When are you free? Okay. When were you born? ¿Cuándo fue que naciste? ¿Cuándo naciste? When were you born? Remember, a partir de ahora usted ya sabe cómo hacer esas preguntas. So try to use them. Tratar de utilizarlas. When were you born? ¿Cuándo naciste? Oh, 1986. You see, 1996. So that's like an example. So when is their anniversary? When is their anniversary? ¿Cuándo es su aniversario? ¿Cuándo es su aniversario? When does the class finish? ¿Cuándo termina la clase? Now, let me see, Jose López. ¿Cuándo es la clase final, teacher? I'm sorry, is that a question? ¿Es una pregunta o, o, o what? <laughs> no, no. Terminará. Or you, or I mean, I mean. I, I, I got confused. I don't know if you were saying me or if you were just translating. Okay, so Jose Lopez, uh, read the first three questions, then Carla, the next three questions, and then Sulma, the next three questions. Let's go. When is your birthday? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll do the first three and then Jose then. Okay. Uh, yeah, the first three. Okay. When is your birthday? Mm -hmm. When is the field trip? When does the moon start? Okay, Carla, let's go. When does the movie, uh, sorry, when does the train arrive? Mm -hmm. When do you do your homework? Mm -hmm. When are you free? Thank you very much, Sulma. When were you born? When is the anniversary? When does the class finish? Excellent. Now, let's move on to another WH question. And this one is where? When we ask the question where, it's because we want to know a place or location. Example, where are my books? They're on the desk, okay? Every single time that you ask the question where, is because you want to know about a place or a location. Where is something located, okay? Now, we're going to move on to, to another examples of common questions. Here we have, where is my pencil case? What's that? Have an idea? Donde está mi estuche de mis... Exactly, where is my pencil case? Very good. Now. 
Jose Alberto has one, two, and three. Then uh, Saul, the next one, four, five, and six. And Monica Lue, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so let's go. Where is my pencil case? Mm -hmm. Where are my glasses? Where is the post office? Saul? Where are you from? Where is she from? Where is she from? Where are they from? I'm sorry, repeat this one again. Where are they from? No, we don't say where, we say where. Where are they from? Where Excellent. Either from. Excellent. Monica. Where do you work? Where do you want to go? Where is Canada on the map? Okay. Remember intonation, Monica. Okay. Intonation of questions. But thank you so much for being Let me see. It's raining. Okay, Rina, I understand. Okay, I understand it's raining here too. So I understand in some parts of the country it's raining and you know, connection to internet when it's raining, it's really, really bad connection. So I completely understand that. So now let's move on to another one. And we have why. Every single time that we ask a question with why, it's because we want to know the purpose or the reason about something. We have an example there, which is, why are you so happy? Why are you so happy? Okay, because I love English class, okay? So one thing that you need to remember, si le hacen una pregunta con why, usted siempre debe de responder con because. Because, okay? Every single time, okay? If someone asks you a question, usted siempre, si le hacen la pregunta con why, siempre va a decir because, blah, 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 okay? So every single time. Now, Let's move on to the part where we have common examples. Let me see. Uh, I don't know it was Rina or who said that. Rina, okay, no. Uh, Rosa Melida, I would like you to help me with one, two, and three. Uh, Julia Yesenia with four, five, and six. And Marvin Marroquin with seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's go. So, uh, I mean, I did it. Did you understand what she said? Okay. Oh, it's raining, okay. Okay, no problem. So Monica, thank you very much, Monica. Uh, we are you sad? No, we say why. Why, why are you sad? Why are you sad? Uh -huh. We, why are you crying? Crying? Mm -hmm. We, why are you why? Loud? No, we forget that we forget it. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Monica. Uh, Julia, yes, teacher. Why are you late? Mm -hmm. Why was streets not at the school yesterday? Okay, why are you running? Thank you very much. And Marvin. Why do people exercise? Why do we need to study English? Why do you think help this stuff? Okay, thank you very much. The pronunciation Saul of that is where, not where, where. And this one is not we, okay, it's why. So why are you so sad? 
¿Por qué estás tan triste? Why are you crying? ¿Por qué estás llorando? Why are you laughing? ¿Por qué se está riendo? Why are you late? Tarde. Why are you running? Estás corriendo. Why do people exercise? ¿Por qué se, las personas se ejercitan? Why do we need to study English? ¿Por qué necesitamos estudiar inglés? Why do you think he did that? ¿Por qué piensas que él hizo eso? Okay. So do we have any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Any questions so far? So far so good? ¿Estamos bien hasta el momento? Yes. Yes, do you have any question? No? Okay, so let's move on. We go with the WH question, which? When we say which, or when we use the WH question, which? Cuales? Cuales, yeah, that's the meaning of that one. But it's because we have a choice. Tenemos una elección. It means que yo tengo una, tengo A y tengo B. Entonces yo le voy a dar a elegir a la persona cual quiere. Entonces yo ahí utilizo which. For example, aquí tenemos el ejemplo. We have the ice cream yellow and the ice cream red. So this person is asking this other person, which one do you want? ¿Cuál quieres? So la persona va a elegir entre estas dos. Either the yellow or the red. So the person says or respond, I want the red one. Quiero la roja. You see? So every single time, cada vez que vayamos a utilizar which, es porque usted tiene dos opciones o le está dando a elegir de entre dos cosas o más a alguien. Ok. Now, let's see which questions do we have as examples. For example, if someone asks you, which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which one do you prefer? Let's suppose, supongamos que estamos en una pupusería. We are eating, we're all eating. Y viene Carla y le pregunta a José Alberto. José Alberto, which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Y si estamos en la pupusería, Carla se está refiriendo a ¿Cuál tipo de pupusa? So, you can use which one do you prefer? Do you prefer rice? Do you prefer corn? Arroz o maíz? That can be a question. Okay? So, I know... Disculpe, teacher. Entonces, ahí la respuesta sería I want. A responder. Yeah, when you say which one do you prefer? I want or tú podrías responder I prefer. Yo prefiero. Either one of those. Okay? Okay. So, another one. Let me see. I will need another person. Zulma. Number one, number two, and number three. Rosa, I see that you raise your hand. Would you like to participate, Rosa? Ya puedo participar, Tisha. Okay, cool. So help me with one, two, and three, and Sulma with four, five, and six. Okay. Rosa. Which one do you prefer? Okay. Which t-shirt do you like the most? Uh-huh. Which of my books would you like to borrow? Thank you very much. Now, Sulma. Which one is it? Which way is it to the library? Which restaurant shall we go to? Okay, thank you very much. Now, let me ask you a question. With all the words or the vocabulary that we have in this slide, do you guys understand all of it? Si entienden todo lo que está ahí, or do you want me to tell you something? 
How do you say shall in English? Shall. This shall, it means, eh, es una palabra eh, utilizada únicamente por personas eh, como de la realeza. Es un lenguaje bastante, eh, ¿cómo decirlo? Como bastante culto, bastante de, ¿qué? De bastante alta sociedad, un lenguaje bien profesional, un lenguaje completely different, no un lenguaje común. So, cuando ellos dicen, shall we go to, se refieren a qué restaurante deberíamos ir. Es como una forma respetuosa de decir, shall we go to? That's it. Vero, vero es el verbo prestar. Vero, vero, el verbo prestar. For example, y si tú le dices a alguien, ¿me puedes prestar cinco dólares? Can you borrow me five dollars? Can you borrow me five dollars? Borrow, okay, borrow, that's verb. So let me see, must. Uh, which teacher do you like the most? Mas. In this question, it's like, ¿Qué maestro te gusta más? Which teacher do you like the most? Más. The most is más. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Or we're clear. So we can move on to the next one. Okay. We're going to move on. And here we have who's. De quién. De quién. So every single time, cada vez que utilicemos the WH question, whose, es porque nos estamos a refiriendo a posesión o propiedad. Possession or ownership about something. For example, si yo quiero preguntar, ¿de quién es esta computadora? Whose computer is this? That's the way I do it. Para que entiendan, cada vez que utilizamos whose, la palabra o la cosa a la que nos referimos va a ir a la par de whose. Si yo quiero saber de quién es esta cartera, ¿alguien sabe? Does anyone of you know how to say cartera? Bag. Bag. Oh, I can no. say, whose bag is this? ¿De quién es esta cartera? Whose bag is this? Si se fijan, la palabra bag va a la par de who's. Cada vez o cada cosa que queramos saber de quién es, siempre va a ir a la par de la WH question. Always. ¿Sí? And, para responder, hay una forma bien particular de responder. Eh, for example, we have a, a one example here that says, whose shirt is on the floor, refiriéndonos a la camisa. La camisa de quién está en el piso? Whose shirt is on the floor? John's shirt, shirt is on the floor. La camisa de John está en el piso. I know it's a little bit a little bit confusing sometimes trying to understand how to use whose, but I need you to ask as many questions as you have, or if you have any questions, ask the questions now so we can try to clarify the questions. Hable ahora o calle para siempre, ¿verdad? Creo que podría explicarlo una vez más, uh, can you repeat that again? Si puede explicarlo una vez más, la forma de respuesta. The, okay, yes. Um, de esta forma, le llamamos forma posesiva, possessive. Cuando utilizamos el apóstrofe S, esta apóstrofe S se convierte en, cuando lo traducimos, de, así, de. Entonces, yo utilizo el nombre de la persona 
le pongo apóstrofe S y luego la cosa a la que me estaba refiriendo. So, en este caso sabemos que la camisa que está tirada aquí es de Juan, John. So, entonces para yo eh, utilizar eso, primero sé el nombre de la persona, John, apóstrofe S y luego la cosa, en este caso la camisa. Y luego solo sigo lo mismo, it's on the floor, está en el piso. So I say, John's shirt is on the floor. Cuando la traduzco es la camisa de, porque está apóstrofe S es de John. No hay que confundirnos con el verbo to be, porque a veces el verbo to be también se contracta de esa manera. ¿Cómo sé yo entonces cuando es el verbo to be y cuando no es el verbo to be? Simple, porque acá... Carla. Say it, Carla. You were going to say something? For the adjectives. For the adjectives and for the things. Porque nos estamos refiriendo a una cosa. Y el verbo to be siempre tiene a un pronombre al inicio. ¿Sí? So it's, you have to understand how to use that. Now, any other question? Alguna pregunta que tengan? Háganla. Ask the questions. Una preguntita. Saúl. Eh, si en el caso no nos sabemos el nombre de la persona, podríamos usar algún pronombre. Eh, we are going to go with that. Nos vamos a mover a la siguiente y lo podemos hacer de esta forma. Pero yo podría decir, I could say, si yo no sé el nombre de la persona y yo quiero saber la camisa de quién, yo puedo decir, let me see who's shirt. Uh, supongamos que no, que no sé el nombre es that, yo puedo decir esa o aquella o esta. Is, is, hair. O yo puedo usar aquí his, o yo puedo usar aquí my, o yo puedo usar aquí your shirt. Oh, my bad. Okay. Um, I think that you cannot see it. Can you see the letters there? No, right. Can you see the letters? Pueden ver las letras. It's, it's... Yes. Sí, sí. Okay. So, cuando yo no sé el nombre de la persona y alguien me pregunta, ¿la camisa de quién está en el piso? Whose shirt is on the floor? Yo puedo decir, esta es su de ella, su de él, mi o tu camisa. Si yo no sé el nombre. Porque, let's, let's suppose, vamos a suponer. Estamos en una casa y un amigo tuyo llevó un, un amigo o una amiga y dejó la camisa. Tú no sabes el nombre y dices, ¿de quién es esta camisa? Esta es de él. That is his, his shirt, su camisa. So that's the way we do it. Esta es la forma en que lo hacemos. I know it's tricky. Es un poco confuso cuando utilizamos whose. Because who's, um, it's a little bit tricky. Es un poco confundible. Here we have another way. Aquí tenemos la otra forma, que es lo que les estaba diciendo ahí atrás, de cómo podemos responder. How we can answer to those questions. Here we have uh, like, whose pen is on the desk? El lápiz o lapicero de quién Está en el escritorio. Whose pen is on the desk? Yo como no sé el nombre, pero sí sé que es mío en este caso. O si fuera de alguien más, yo lo cambiaría y digo that is, ese es. Si yo no sé el nombre y es de un él, yo digo de his pen. That is his pen on the desk. Ese es su lapicero de él o her. De ella, on the desk. Those are two different ways. Dos formas diferentes de poder responder the WH question, whose. Do you guys have any questions so far? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Do 
Bueno, silence is more than thousand words. So I'm going to move on then. Um, solamente una, una duda antes de pasar uh -huh. a la siguiente. Eh, no podríamos entonces dejar como acortada la, la, la respuesta. En este caso, eh, mencionar ese, ese lápiz es mío hasta ahí. No mencionar el lugar donde está. No, that's fine. If you say like, that is my pen, boom, es mío. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Yeah, so that's, that's possible. It's not necessary, no es necesario agregar el lugar donde está. Because that's, sometimes see, it can be, puede sonar a little bit repetitive, un poquito repetitivo. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's also possible. Mm -hmm. So here we have some examples, like whose shoe is this? Whose shoes are this? Whose glasses are those? Whose book is this? Whose wallet is this? Whose motorbike is that? Whose shoes are this? And whose car, whose car is parked over there? Okay, so those are common examples that we have in English about the WH question, whose? Now, do you guys have any questions so far? That's another no, okay? So we're going to move on to how. Even though, aunque how no empieza con una WH, it's also taken, to, taken into consideration, es tomado como parte de las WH questions. Even though, it doesn't start with the WH. So every single time that we use how is because we're talking about the way that something is done, a condition of something or a degree of something. See, how puede ser utilizado de muchas maneras. We have an example here, which it says, how was your vacation? ¿Cómo estuvo tu vacación? How was your vacation? It was great. Remember the WH question, how, means cómo. Okay? So, now, let's move on. Vamos a ver los diferentes tipos de questions that we can have. Los diferentes tipos de formas que podemos tener con how. Si yo digo how far... Si a la WH question how, yo le agrego un adjetivo, far va a cambiar. Entonces ese how far significará que tan lejos, refiriéndome a distancia, distance. Si alguien le pregunta, how far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Que tan lejos, how far, que tan lejos está Pattaya de Bangkok? Ok, so remember, cuando usted vea how far, significa que tan lejos, distance, distancia. If you ever see, si alguna vez ven how long, significa cuánto tiempo, how long, how long refiriéndome al tiempo o al espacio, like how long. For example, tenemos un ejemplo aquí, which it says, how long will it take? ¿Cuánto tiempo le tomará? How long will it take? So remember, every single time that we see the WH question how, with the word long, how long, that will mean length, time, or space, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure that all of you know these ones. Estoy seguro que esa todos la conocen. How many? What's that? What is how many? Cuántos. Cuántos. ¿Cuántos? When I'm talking about 
Cosas contables, cosas que yo puedo contar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on and so on. Example, how many cars are there? ¿Cuántos carros hay ahí? So remember how many is about quantity, but for countable things or countable nouns. Cosas contables. How much significa también cuánto, but with the difference, con la diferencia que este es para cosas incontables, cosas que no se pueden contar. Cualquiera me diría, teacher, pero el, 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 el dinero lo puede contar, money. Sí, en español, but in English, la palabra money es incontable. Aunque usted pueda decir, oh, 10 dólares, 20 dólares, 30 dólares. Not in English. That's in Spanish. So that's why, es por eso que algunas veces we, we say things incorrectly because we are always thinking in Spanish. So in English, things are completely different. Some things are different. So every time that you have a question with how much, remember that that is going to be for uncountable things or uncountable nouns, okay? Now, when we say uh, how old, how old? ¿Cuántos años? A la edad, age. When we talk about the age, so, when you want to know, cuando quieres saber cuántos años tienes, you say, how old are you? Nunca, pero nunca vaya a decir, how many years do you have? ¿No? Porque hay veces tratamos de traducir de español a inglés y es por eso que tenemos demasiados errores. So in English, when you want to know about someone's age, acerca de la edad de alguien, Usted hace esta pregunta. How old are you? That's it. How old are you? Okay. Now, we have the last one. Tenemos la última. That is, how come? How come is una frase informal utilizada para decir o para saber La razón, to know the reason or to ask why. ¿Qué significa? How come is like, ¿cómo es posible? That's the translation, ¿cómo es posible? So if I say, how come I can't see her? ¿Cómo es posible que no pueda verla? How come I can't see her? Okay, so but remember, Hay que recordar que este es algo informal, okay? But it's still understandable. Now, I would like to have some volunteers to help me reading these questions that we have here. This one's right here. Okay, I have Jose Lopez and Zulma. So Jose Lopez, you will help me with one, two, and three. And Sulma, you will help me with um, four, five, and six. Then Carla and Vanessa, you will help me with something different, okay? Jose Lopez. Okay. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Okay. How long will it take? How many cars are there? I want to congratulate you because you are making the right intonation at the end, okay? That's perfect. You are making the perfect intonation at the end. That's good. Thanks. Okay, Sulma. How much, how, how much um, money do you have? Okay, there we don't say much, we say much. How much? much. Uh -huh. How much? Money, do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Okay. How much more? Uh, how much money do you have? Mm -hmm. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? 
Uh, how come I can't see her? I can't see her. Okay. I can't see her. Thank you very much for that. Now, uh, remember guys, another, once again, intonation of the things is the key. Now, Carla, here, what do we have to do? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer acá? Uh, the order. <laughs> order them, yeah. They are, put it in order. How are you going to do it? ¿Cómo lo vas a hacer? Here we have the clue. Tenemos la pista acá in red. The first is the question. Uh -huh. How? ¿Cómo? What's the uh, question? The, the, why, H, W, <laughs> W, H, mm -hmm. the question. Mm -hmm. Mm, how how go to school you how go to school you okay uh jose lopez do you agree estás de acuerdo with what she said no what would your possible answer be R. <laughs> Are. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're here because we're learning. That's fine. Perfect. Es que no había leído abajo. You see, we never pay attention to instructions. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Jose Lopez, do you have any idea? No. <laughs> Does anyone? How do you go to school? Excellent. How do you go to school? That's it. How do you go to school? Let me write that down. Let me see. How do you go to school? Like that. Okay. That's it. How do you go to school? Now, number two, let me see. Uh, where does he work? Where does he work? Excellent, Saul. Y me leyó la mente porque a él le iba a preguntar. Ah, caray. Where does he work? Okay, let me see. Monica, are you there? Monica? Well, it sounds like she's not there. Rina? Rina is not there too. Sulma then? Number three. Number three. Do you have an idea? Uh, when does class end? Excellent. When does class end? Mm -hmm. Alberto. What does your father do? Excellent. What does your father do? Let me see, uh, Julia. Um, who do, do you see in the photo? Excellent. Who do you see in the photo? Who do you see in the photo? Now, let me ask. Marvin. Marvin. Well, apparently he's not there. So um, let me see. Arla, can you help me with the last, with number six? And number six. Uh, how 
how do you mean how many do cousins no how many do you have cousins mm -hmm. <laughs> Many, How many do you have cousins? You said is that do you think that that is correct, guys? Alguien más tiene algo diferente de lo que Carla dijo? How many do? No. How does many cousins do you have? Yeah, that will be like that. It will be, let me see, let me write it. So it will be how many cousins do you have? That's the way we have to do it. Okay. And the last one. Jose Alberto, that's the last one for you. What do you get up early on Saturday, on Sunday? Get up early on Sunday. Okay, that's it. So uh, as you can see, guys, WH questions sometimes are not difficult to use. The thing that we just have to re, uh, remember how to use them, okay? So that's going to be all for today, guys. I'm just going to say thank you for coming to the class. Remember to keep working on the platform you have until tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to check your progress on the platform. So... Hasta la lección 3 sería, y ahí creo que hay un examen, ¿verdad? Hasta ahí. Yes. You will have ah. the exam too. El examen también. Hay una, una pregunta, teacher. Ya también mm -hmm. están enviando como correos, eh, pero todavía estamos a mitad de este, de este módulo. Como para inscribirse al siguiente. No sé. Eh, it's, eh, siempre se envían eh, la información antes en caso eh, para evitar cualquier eh, que a veces se tienen demasiados papeleos entonces por eso se envía la información antes si ya te están enviando correos y te piden alguna información trata de enviarla antes para no tener ningún problema al final del módulo y así cuando inicie el otro ya toda tu información está lista ok gracias teacher when uh -huh. is the exam the exam is going to be next week because this week we didn't have enough time. Next week. So it can be either on Monday or Tuesday. Okay. One of those two days. Uno de esos dos días. So, uh, well, that's going to be all for today. Eso va a ser todo por hoy, chicos. I wish you have a good night. And have a good weekend too. So take care of yourselves and see you. On good night. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you.